Okay, if you've seen uh, the first tutorial, uh, you've got your the model now downloaded and installed and uh, the Excel settings set, and you've got the basic concept of what we're looking at with the uh, might build up and uh, and then uh, decline when there's no brood rearing. Uh, we're it's time now to uh, actually start using the model, having some fun playing with it. Now, let's look down to uh, go back to the uh, current version, the actual model right here. So we'll click on this and go back to our current version here and you've got your basic cells here so we started with the default uh, colony uh, temperate climate uh, managed to prevent swarming uh, with a, a slight fall buildup of brood and let's look at this graph here this would be your adult bee population and you're going to enter all these values later on uh, to customize this this would be your amount of, uh, of total pupae in the colony, which often uh, approaches the number of adult bees. And then this little bit of red down here that you can't see, this this is uh, reflects this calculation over here, the percent of worker cells that are invaded. You can see we get up to about 12% of the worker cells invaded uh, right here. And that shows us this red right here. So it's showing 12%. Uh, we can, let's just say we start with, uh, let's say we start with uh, 300 mites here. And now you can start to see this uh, greater percentage of worker cells invaded. When you get ab above about 25, 30% <clears throat> of your worker cells invaded by a mite, the colony will typically uh, collapse, which is what we're looking at avoiding in here. Um, the uh, red line right here with the dots, this will show your mite population. So in this simulation, it grew from 100 mites up to um, 3,600 mites and then drop down. Uh, and once we go crash, just ignore anything after crash because it's the, the model isn't designed for colonies crashing. You're going to try to avoid ever seeing red in a, in a simulation here. Um, uh, where was I here? Okay, the, we, we want to look at, okay, we check we have a decent R value, the 0, 2, uh, 0 right here. Um, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to try to figure out a management uh, method. So let's just say you do a, a good treatment in May. Uh, maybe you put in uh, an amitraz treatment or uh, uh, double mite away quick strips, and you're going to get a 90-plus uh, percent uh, mite kill there. So put a 90% hit enter and drops it down pretty good, OK? Um, for this simulation right here, you'd be fine. Uh, you're, you're, if you can get down to below 1,000 mites uh, here, you're typically OK. But if you're living somewhere where there's a bunch of uh, other beekeepers around and maybe you have a higher uh, immigration load um, of mites coming in, that may not, not be enough. You, this mite count of 20 here uh, may not do it. You're going to have to do a, an oxalic acid dribble or something. Let's just uh, say early December will maybe do a 80% uh, reduction uh, right there. And now we're down to a very low uh, number of, of, of mites here. Let's uh, we'll take that one back out of, out of there. Um, or if you do a, a, a thymol treatment here, you can get a 90% kill right there and drop that right down. And this would be more of a sustainable. You don't have any alcohol wash numbers. Did I say that? These are your alcohol wash numbers for a mite count in a half cup of, uh, of bees, of brood nest uh, bees. Um, and you can look at my smoking hot mite washing article about that. So we're going to go back to the... Uh, immigration of one and take these out here and now this isn't going to um, work for everybody because not everybody has this temperate climate so you can go to different ones let's just say you want to start with a nucleus colony you put in n for nucleus right there and now this shows you a nucleus colony starting in in april with five frames of bees and three frames of brood and what you'd have to do here and you could probably get by with let's see what we're going to do yeah, you get one one good mite kill right here, and you're starting off at 154. Not quite sustainable. You got to get this number down to 100 for sustainability. So we'll we'll throw an oxalic acid uh, dribble in here uh, when there's a little bit of brood, and and now we're we're, we're fine right there. Um, okay, what if we want to start with a a package colony? And you put a P in here. This package B colony, three pounds, installed on drawn comb and and fed well. Probably not going to make it through the season, but if you do your, um, say, a thymol uh, treatment right there, oh, you're looking you're looking okay. Not quite sustainable. You're going to have to do something else. So um, 
you might have to do one more, uh, say, a late season treatment. Let's just do a, um, a quick 50% uh, knock back with a single mite away quick strip. Uh, now, you're, now you're sustainable. So with those two treatments, you're sustainable. Okay. Now you can build your own colonies anywhere, and I will show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, I take that back. Uh, let's take a look at uh, using the model in my own operation. I'll get to uh, working with the colony settings uh, in the next video. Okay, let's do a very uh, practical application right here. And um, instead of looking at the default colony, let's look at uh, my own operation, because I've based this model a lot on the numbers I've gotten. Oops, uh, backspace and R for Randy. And you see a lot of red. My my bees would crash very early in the season if we didn't do something after almonds. <coughs> so I'm looking here. I first I want to set my starting uh, mite level right here. And um, you know, by the time we get to March, we're we're up here. We we have a maybe we're starting to see um, in some of the colonies we may see mite counts up in the twos or threes right here. So always set your your mite count to represent your actual alcohol washes. Then what we do is we split our colonies uh, four ways after the almonds, oxalic them, and we also pull out a drone uh, trap frame. So we really knock the mites back now, and we, we get it about 95% mite knock back. Now, to confirm this number, then you look at your alcohol washes. So you, and, and I run colonies and trials every year, so I know what these mite counts are going to do, and I know that by early August, I'm going to be at up that 8 to 15 range, and, and by September, I'll be up in the 20s and, and 30s. So these, this is a pretty realistic uh, buildup right here. We usually start to worry right about here, 1st of July, we get these mite counts in that 4 to 6 range. Um, we still have honey supers on, so we use a single mite away quick strip and do a mite knock back, not a really strong reduction. And you can look over, over here to... Um, here where I, I say a, uh, a weak formic acid treatment. So that'd be a single mite away quick strip. We'll get about a 50% reduction right there. And that knocks those mites back down that we don't worry about them until we can get the honey off. And then usually around mid-August, we're starting to approach our treatment threshold, which is usually about six mites in an alcohol wash. So at that point, we'll put on a, a um, good time all treatment, Apigard on top of the hive, and we'll knock those mites down uh, pretty well. And, uh, and, they, and they stay down through the fall. And then we do a, a, a cleanup uh, dribble at the lowest amount of brood wearing. So maybe we'll get an 80% reduction uh, of mites with an oxalic dribble. And what you can see is our, our starting count here and here is also shown here and here. So we're down below that 100 uh, count again. So this is a sustainable treatment uh, strategy. And this is what we, we have done for quite a few years now with the the splitting, the oxalic dribble, the, um, the knockback with some formic while the honey supers are on, then a good time wall treatment on the top, and then uh, oxalic dribble. And you can see this this works quite well for us um, in um, uh, with rotation of, of treatments. The other thing that we're looking at uh, doing here is with the oxalic shop towels, we're, we may be starting to use uh, them at about this point here to retard this uh, mite buildup. Then we can put this uh, time wall treatment off maybe a little bit right here. Okay, so that's a reality version for what, what we do. Okay, uh, that was it for my operation, and uh, you can see how uh, handy this is. You can uh, run all kinds of simulations and look at your timing and what kind of treatments, what will work. Uh, extremely valuable. Um, okay, go to the next video on uh, setting up the colony.